Hello everyone! In today's video, we're going to cover how to create custom social media graphics on Canva. Now, the reason why you'd want to create custom graphics is to add your own branding flair, so that way whenever the graphics appear on your marketing materials like your flyers, rack cards, business cards, even your email signature, they are in line with your brand, meaning they utilize your colors and your style. So how we create our custom social media graphics on Canva is to click on this teal create a design button because we're going to use custom dimensions so click custom dimensions here make sure that you're using pixels and we're going to do 100 by 100 pixels I find this is the ideal size because you don't want your graphics to be too big or too small so you'll see the square canvas that pops up and you're going to click on elements on the left here and you're going to type in Facebook. And from here, you're going to find an icon that you like. Personally, I like using the circle icon. And you're going to drag it to fill in the entire square. If there's a little bit of edge, that's fine. If, if you're not okay with that, you can, of course, drag it. But I want to be safe and just make sure that I'm dragging the bounding box to the very edge of the canvas. And now you'll notice when you click on the graphic, you can change the colors. So I'm going to click on this blue, and I'm going to change it to my brand orange color. And you'll notice that this center F, you can also change the color. I usually leave it as white, just so that way it has some good contrast. If you have a darker color, you may want to change that F to black. Whatever you'd like, you can also be creative and change it to another brand color. But personally, I like the way the white looks. I think it sticks out more. Now, let's say you have other social media accounts like Instagram. You'll want to create, so we're going to copy this, you'll want to create a new canvas for it. The reason why you don't want to put them side by side is you want to have the flexibility to be able to link the individual graphics. So for example, in a G Suite signature, you want to be able to click Facebook to Facebook, Instagram to Instagram, Twitter to Twitter. If you make all of these icons sit side by side, you can only link to one place, so that's why I like to create different canvases for each platform. So again, we're going to search for Instagram, see what they have. I, again, love the circle. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag it around to the edge. I'm going to make this the same color that I made Facebook, so that way it's all uniform. And I'm going to duplicate again, scroll to the top, delete Instagram, search for Twitter, find the circle, I'm going out of order to mix it up because I like to keep things interesting. And there you have it. Whenever you have all of your graphics, like let's say you also have YouTube, Pinterest, TikTok, anything under the sun, you're going to click up here to this download icon. And you can either select all pages or if you want to download just specific designs, you can click on them individually. I'm going to click all pages. Make sure it's PNG. And if you do have Canva Pro, click on transparent background or else this edge, the white edge, will show up. If you don't have Canva Pro, a workaround is to change the color of the canvas background, so change that white color. Most of us will be putting our social media graphics on a white background, but let's say you're putting these on your website and your website background is blue. You would change that white background to blue, so that way when the graphic appears on your website, you don't see this white edge. It is blue, so it takes on the color of your background. So in order to do that, click on your graphic. You will have to shrink it a bit just to be able to click on the back here. So you'll see that the bounding box is around the background and you'll click on colors and you'll choose whichever color is on your website. So let's say it is that blue. So there you go. And then you'll drag that the social media graphic back to the edge and there you have it you can just download it as is. Let's say you want to use a few different these for a few different places like let's say that you want to have this on your website and then you also want to have it on your postcard and the background of your postcard is white you can just copy go back here shrink click 
change it back to that white. So you don't have to continuously do that. You have the two. And there you have it. That is how you create social media graphics on Canva. I hope it helps. If you'd like to learn more about Canva, check out my online Create with Canva course. It covers more tutorials like this one, as well as how to set up and organize your Canva account for ultimate efficiency. Plus, the course can be completed in less than an hour. Check out my link in bio below to find out more.